Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at the shoe haul from our latest um, Goodwill trip. Uh, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and along with my wife Angelique, we run a closet on Poshmark. It's called The Deegans. Um, links to everything will be in the description below. Now, um, I'm gonna be pulling some shoes from over here, some shoes from over here. Most of these were from, these were from our dollar day trip, but I think most of them were not dollar days. I do know, do remember that a few pairs were a dollar and a few pairs were the half off color, uh, but We've already cleaned them, we've already shot them, um, so I'm not entirely, I don't entirely remember what what was what. Um, if I do remember, I will mention it. Um, now, the reason I'm pulling some shoes from over here is because I got halfway through filming this and um, Windows decided to restart on me, um, corrupted the file, so have to have to redo all this. Okay, now, first pair of shoes, um, which, I already mentioned in the corrupted video, are a pair of Ivanka Trump pumps, um, and these are a size nine and a half. And I do remember looking at the materials, and these are um, leather tops, leather leather soles, leather interior. So all leather Ivanka Trumps, and um, they they did have a few spots on them, but I think my wife was able to get most of them off with uh, with the. Uh, various cleaning things that we use. So um, really have to get those. And they were half off, they were priced at $8, but because they were the color of the day, that makes them um, $4. Um, pretty basic math there, right? And, okay. Up next, we had a pair of blue J. Crew. Um, these are ballet shoes. Um, which uh, we did just sell a pair of ballet shoes, so I think these should, I know that we can sell this style of shoe, although the ballet shoes we sold were not um, J. Crew. Uh, these are upper leather, so this interior part right here is leather. Obviously the blue is not leather unless there's um, blue cows somewhere, and they are size nine. So I like that we recently sold a pair of ballet shoes, so definitely know that we can sell them. Um, and maybe, maybe for whatever reason, maybe it's ballet season, I don't know. Okay, up next we have a pair of Mark Fishers, and these are size, is the size showing there? They are eight and a half, um, that's easier to read. Um, anyway, these um, were all man-made materials, um, open-toed, and I don't, I think, um, I think they're a little bit too, that heel's too tall to be a, um, to make these pumps, so, and I think it's too short to make them stilettos, so I don't know entirely. Um, I guess it's just an open-toed high heel, um, but they are a pair of black high heels, which my wife says is a necessity shoe, so something that everyone needs, so they should do nicely. All right, next we have a pair of Vince Komodos. Um, and we did just sell the other pair of Vince Komodos that were these flat um, styles. I believe they were black, uh, the ones that we sold. But, um, yeah, so I like that. Um, I don't know what that was. I like that we have recently sold them um, so because that means we can sell them. Uh, these, I don't, I don't see a size on them. We did already shoot and measure oh here we go uh, these are six and a half um, so oh and they got the materials in there too oh it is leather upper leather upper man-made linings um, so yeah um, I guess that is leather it doesn't feel like leather probably just the um, little felt they have on the outside but anyway um, Vince Kubota's do very well for us um, we seem to every time we pick them up we seem to sell them within a couple of weeks so Really happy to get some Vince Komodos. Okay, and the last pair that I um, 
already shot, but have to shoot again, is this pair of Crocs. Uh, these are size six um, women's, obviously women's. Uh, they are a set of wedge sandals. Um, so I didn't know that Crocs made um, different, like, I didn't know that Crocs made this style of shoe. The only Crocs I've ever seen are the, uh, are the, I guess, mules. Would they be mules? Uh, are the, yeah, but, yeah, that's, there you can see the little Crocs and the Croc logo. Um, yeah, I didn't know that Crocs made these, uh, so they're very unique. I think they'll sell very well, um, just because they are, in fact, unique. Okay, now we can get on to some new stuff. I think, oh, mm, wait, this is the pair that, this is the pair that caused the computer to, cr to restart. I don't think it was a crash. Anyway, this is the pair that caused it to crash last time. These are a pair of size 12 Banana Republic um, heels. Again, I think that heel is not um, long enough to be considered a stiletto, but not short enough to be considered a pump. So we're just going to call them black high heels. They are pointed toe, and being that they are black high heels, um, they are a must-have for every woman. And since they are a larger size, what is that? Um, oh, yep. Yeah just says that they're size 12 right there. Um, since they are a larger size, um, I think they'll be, they're a bit rarer um, to come across, so I think that'll really help them sell. Okay, up next we have a pair of Lucky Brand sandals. Um, not thong sandals, just, uh, I guess, what, what, what was that, the um, strap? Strap? No, no. Uh, what is that called? Ah, I really need to get on my shoe terminology. Anyway, these are a size 12 M, uh, 44. Does that M mean they're men's slippers? No. Well, maybe. Um, either way, um, they don't look like men's size 12s. Either way, they're Lucky Brand. Um, that's a very good brand. Um, tends to sell pretty good. So, yeah, um, happy to have those. And with the summer months coming up, um, people will definitely be looking for sandals. All right. Up next, we have a pair of, I think that's Lulu's. Is that an L or a W? Well, it's got to be an L. You want to have W, L, yeah. So these are a pair of Lulu's. Um, now, I like I said, we shot all these, um, so but I didn't see a size or materials on these, so we did have to measure them. Um, I don't remember what the measurements make them. I think it was from here to here was about 10 and a half inches. So if you know shoe sizes, then um, you know that it's probably a uh, I'd say probably a, probably a 9 or a 10. Um, but, and it says I don't have the materials. Um, yeah, there's really not much I can say about these. <sighs> okay, up next we have a pair of Born Concepts. Uh, you have the Born Concept. Um, Let's see, and these are a size nine. They are man-made materials, balanced with man-made materials, so it's all man-made materials. Um, but there's a pair of um, wedges. Um, I don't know if that technically makes them a mule since they don't have the back. Uh, maybe it does. Um, and obviously, I don't know if there would be considered a pair of wedge sandals or a pair of wedge mules, um, just because the open back but um, I did, we did recently sell a pair of Born Concept sandals. Um, I know I keep talking about the pairs that we recently sold, and that's because I do all the, um, I do all the packing of everything now. So I pack everything up before it ships. So I actually do get a kind of a good feel for what's selling and what's not selling. Um, obviously not as good 
of a, obviously I'm just basing it off of what I remember um, packing up. So my wife has a much better handle on all that because she looks at all the graphs and charts and everything. And she's been making graphs and charts for all this since before um, since before Poshmark actually started providing that information. So we're a little bit ahead of the curve on that. Um, not a whole lot. Okay. Up next, we have a pair of Steve Maddens, and this pair was, in fact, $8. Uh, the sticker's still on there. Um, must have missed that when we were cleaning them. Um, or maybe... The, this pair, I know, was not from the same store as the rest of them. Um, we did go to three stores that day, um, so this is from a different Goodwill. Um, one that we don't go to as often because it's a little bit further away, but um, we did want to get back into the um, doing sourcing from hauls as opposed to just sourcing from reseller boxes. Because um, you got to diversify. All right, so these say um, P Haven, um, PU Upper, PU Sock and Lining. Um, no, so is that what the inside is called a sock? I did not know that about shoes. Uh, Man-made outsole, and they are size nine and a half. Uh, so a pair of Steve Madden flats. Um, Steve Madden is another another brand that does is a brand or a designer. Anyway, he does really well for us. Um, so definitely like that. Okay, and this is the other pair that was from the. Um, yeah, this is the other pair that was from the other store. Uh, we only got two pairs from that other store. Uh, they are a Curvo? Cruvo? Um, Cruvo, size 11. Um, I guess these are technically a boot. Um, no zippers, no, no straps, just a slip-on boot. Um, and they, well, they still have the, uh, they still have the paper that we use to stuff them so we can keep them nice and well formed while we shoot. So a little bit of a little bit of wear on the toes, uh, but I think they'll do. I think they'll do just fine. And welcome back. Um, I realized that when I was counting the number of shoes in there, that there was one pair that was missing, and it is my grand finale pair. So I had to run and get it real quick. Okay. Um, so let's look at the next pair of shoes. Now this is a very um, a unique design, well, not really too unique, um, but they are a pair of DVs, uh, it's Dolce Vita, and according to the sticker on there, they're a size 9 or maybe that's a 6, um, I'd have to look at some of the other pairs, these definitely look more like a 9 than a 6, so we're going to have to compare them to other pairs just to figure that out or measure them. Um, but anyway, they're a pair of flats, and I didn't see any material or size on the inside. Um, so all I can say is maybe, maybe this lining here, maybe this lining and the sock, as I uh, learned today, maybe that's leather. Um, can't really read what the the material sticker on the bottom says it's been it's faded too much um yeah no does it say it on the other one nope all right so not really sure um about those but definitely good condition um, not a whole lot just a little bit of wear on the soles but um tops tops and the inside are excellent condition so those should do all right okay up next, we have a pair of soft, soft, or well, two S's, two F's, so I'm the accents above the O's, which I do not know how those get pronounced. Um, these are size eight and a half. All man-made materials, made in China. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, nothing about them. Um, just... pair of wedges. All right. 
now. There we go. Um, I'll just edit some of that stuff out. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on these videos. Um, okay, this is a pair of Q-PID. Um, there it is. And maybe you can see it in there, probably not. I think that's a little bit too, let's see. There it kind of shows. Uh, Q-U-P-I-D. They were $8, as you can see from the tag. And the reason we did not clean these is because we got them home, I went to shoot them, and I realized the zippers broke. Um, and it's not just the zipper came off the teeth, um, it's actually a couple teeth missing down there. So we really don't have any way to repair that. So these shoes are just gonna have to get redonated or um, thrown away. So disappointing on that because they were actually a really nice uh, pair of shoes. No, no damage other than the zipper, which uh, we just didn't think to check. The other zipper, the other zipper works just fine. So, <laughs> uh, these things happen. All right. <clears throat> it's time for the grand finale. This, uh, how should I put this? If you are, if you're standing watching this, which I don't know why you'd be standing watching this, please sit down right now. You're, um, you're gonna be knocked off your feet if you're not. Um, something we found at Goodwill. We did pay full the full Goodwill price for these, but well worth it. That's right, we found a pair of Pradas. <coughs> they were, as you can see from the tag, eight bucks. Um, and they are in excellent condition. We did actually already um, send pictures of these to a uh, validation site um, that my wife uh, heard about from, I think, I know she heard about it from one of the other resellers on one of their videos, but um, I can't remember which reseller it was. Um, and I'll link the website in the description. Um, and if I if we can find the video, I'll link the reseller video where my wife heard it about it. But anyway, these are a size 38, so that's the year 39. Uh, so that is the European size. But these are a pair of Prada shoes, um, a pair of Prada wedges. Um, they got the sling back, um, open toed, um, pretty much open entire foot. Uh, but yeah, a pair of products. So we were definitely happy to find these. Um, I know my wife said that when she slid these across the counter, the uh, the manager who was checking her out um, kind of looked up at her, smiled, and then just put them put them aside into the uh, put them aside uh, with our the other stuff we were purchasing. Um, I know that sometimes, um, I don't think this has happened to us, but I, I've heard that sometimes uh, some of the more expensive stuff, Goodwill will, um, they'll, if they find it, they'll say, oh, we priced this wrong and they'll charge you more at the counter, but not in this case. Um, so this was very, very good find. Um, and I actually remember we were sitting there, these were the last pair of shoes we found, because uh, we were sitting by the shoes, going over, um, doing our quality check, uh, which where we missed that zipper. And my wife looks up and see, says, "What does that shoe? What does that shoe say?" And she's sitting right across from it. And um, yeah, uh, I looked over and I said, oh, "That says Prada." Um, and she immediately, I, I said that, and she's like, "Shut up, grab it." <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're. She was definitely very excited to find these, um, and I'm excited to find them too because these could, these could go for a lot. Um, they could pay for the entire haul, and pretty, they could be the, they could be our biggest sale yet. Um, so definitely happy to get those. Yeah. So I'm. This is definitely going in the thumbnail, uh, but I'll put a mystery box over them so you don't know what it is. <laughs> um, uh, that, that's not a good face to make the thumbnail. So.
There we go, that'll work. <laughs> oh, as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, my wife, um, my wife pointed out that my just free, just taking a freeze frame from the video and using that for the thumbnail really gets me at a lot of weird faces and it looks kind of, um, it looks kind of dumb. So I'm trying to do, um, actual thumbnails now. Okay. All right. That brings us to the end of the shoe haul. So what do I think? Um, you know, we didn't intend to make it a shoe haul when we went to um, when we went out for dollar days, but it just kind of happened. Um, my wife has this theory that some that some lady just brought all of her shoes to Goodwill to donate, and that's where a lot of these came from because a lot of them are very similar size. They're all that eight and a half to nine size, um, eight and a half to nine and a half size, and. She thinks that someone with just a lot of really good shoes brought them into Goodwill and donated them, and we were able to swoop in and um, get a lot of good shoes that uh, that should should net us a lot of profit. Um, I do know that some of these brands uh, in here have have sold very recently for us, and the fact that a lot of them are sandals or open toe, you know, they're warm weather shoes as opposed to the boots and. Uh, and the uh, boot, various kinds of boots. Um, so really happy about all that. All right. So um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, all that stuff is below. Um, I'll also try to put some links below to uh, websites that validate. And if I can find it, the uh, reseller that mentioned this um, website. Um, yeah, all that will be below. Until next time, I'll see you.